quite literally. Garcia rocks and fires and the first pitch is ripped down the right field line by Jazz and that will twist into the seats and we're underway. Let's take a look at the scouting report on Luis Garcia brought to you by Auto Nation. He has some deception in his delivery. As a matter of fact, we just saw it on that first pitch. He calls it rock the baby and he tries to get deception to get the hitters off balance. We've told you he was runner up rookie of the year last year 11 wins and led all American League rookie pitchers with a bunch of struck out strikeouts and the cut fastball has really been a weapon for him this year's really allowed him to get left handers out a little bit better than he did last year. 95 miles an hour upstairs with the fastball. He's watching some video on him and he will go upstairs with that fastball in the mid 90s. He also will cut the fastball in on the left handers. That's why the numbers against left handers are much better this year for Garcia. He'll flip you a couple of different breaking balls one of which is a curveball the other being a change. I mean slider. Oh two pitch. Jazz goes up gets that one sends it deep to right center field and that's into the Marlins bullpen a solo home run to start the night. <laughs> Jazz driving that bus he has been on fire in that first series against the Washington Nationals. He had a grand slam. He also hit another big home run in that game and then he beat the Nationals with his legs yesterday but I guess he's in a mood to trot once again tonight. You can kind of tell that first swing that foul ball he was going to get after it tonight. That was a ball too. Jazz's last couple of home runs have been pitches that were up and out of the strike zone but he goes up and he doesn't try to pull that baseball. He takes it right back through the center of the diamond and he's got a really nice rare combination of power and speed. Number 11 on the season dons the helmet and the Marlins have a one to nothing lead. He times every delivery to home plate and then after the pitch he'll walk over to Dela Cruz and tell him what he thinks. With a runner on base after every pitch he could walk back to the hotel and tell him what he thinks. <laughs> Pace gets a little bit more deliberate for Garcia. Garcia's going to be in trouble if they do indeed have the uh, the pitch clock next year in the big leagues. Well not if that clock is a sundial he'll be all right. No he's not going to be OK. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to have to speed it up a little bit and there's going to be some hitters too man that have a tough time with that. There's some hitters that like to linger around that batter's box too too long. Up and away for a ball, 2 0. Oh. Jazz with a home run earlier in this ball game. Statcast 3, powered by Google Cloud, his fifth career leadoff home run. And left his bat at 105. Cool Jazz. Love those animations. It's uh, the technology that picks up every movement a player makes. You see them doing the, the shot around first, the Euro step coming home. Jazz uh, thought about bunting again. He bunted twice yesterday. If you watched the game, and and very difficult to throw Jazz out at first base if he gets the bunt down. And Donnie Mattingly was talking yesterday how important it is for Jazz just to get it down. You don't have to rush. A lot of guys that can run, a lot of times their feet are moving, and they make a bad bunt because they're trying to be too quick. Just get it down and then run. Well, here's the bunch yesterday by Jazz. Take a look at the technique here. Just beautiful technique. Just dead in it. Now you go. And his sprint speed down the line on the second one was 29 feet per second. Great concentration right there. And that's what makes him such a special and electric player is that he can lay down two bunch singles one day. And then hit a leadoff home run the next day. Yeah, he's talented. Pops that one back and out of play. Now three and two. And it really opens up so many avenues for a guy like Jazz because all of a sudden you got Bregman who's moving now back over to shortstop because he knows Jazz is not going to bunt with two strikes. But he was playing over to third base, he was playing on the grass, and that just opens up lots more lanes for a guy like Jazz to. Get hits if they're thinking about him possibly bunning. De La Cruz off of first with one out. And 
Jazz lifts this one hits it way out toward right center field making a bid for another one and he did it again. I see you Jazz. <laughs> Over the wall in right center field his second homer of the game. Jazz hit two home runs just a few days ago one grand slam one two run shot. And now he busts Garcia again for another home run. This one, two run variety. Oh my goodness, how gifted is he? Wasn't sure if that one was going to carry out of here, but it just had the legs to get over that right center field wall. You got a guy that squared around the bunt earlier in the at bat. <laughs> yeah, I know. Talked about it from night to night. How about later in the at bat? Jazz looks good in that football helmet. Looks like a little young quarterback. <laughs> that's a fastball that's away from Jazz, and Jazz takes it and rips the ball back to the pool field in right center field. That one scooted right over the gate, almost hit the top of the gate, didn't it? Yeah, I think it was uh, just over the top of that yellow line there. What a special talent. 